Welcome everybody, I'm about to get to the video. I just want to let you know this video is part of my kernel development video course. So if you like this video, you can get the full course in the video description. Now to the video. Hello and welcome everybody. Throughout the next couple lessons, we will be focusing on getting to 64-bit long mode. We will have to make significant changes to our PeachOS 32-bit kernel to make it compatible with the 64-bit long mode address space. Additionally, we will have to rewrite our assembly code so that it puts the processor into a long mode state. This is accomplished while we're in protected mode. We can change the processor state to long mode. Let's now begin. This will take a couple videos before the entire kernel is 64 bit. So please have some patience and follow the video correctly. The first thing we're going to do is rename PeachOS the PeachOS 64 bit. This just gives us a significant distinction from our 32 bit PeachOS and our 64 bit PeachOS. We're going to open up our Visual Studio code. And we're going to open up the PeachOS 64 bit. If you get a pop up like this, just press yes. It'll help you later on. Okay, so we can see in kernel.c, this is our 32 bit kernel. It should be exactly the same as it was uh, when we finished the part one course. Okay. The changes we're going to be making throughout the next few lessons will be like changing addresses from unit 32T to unit 64T. The objective is to ensure that anything that represents an address can hold 64 bits. Changing the C code will not be too difficult. However, making changes to the kernel structures and the kernel assembly will be proven to be a slightly difficult task, but it's more time consuming. So just watch the videos, do exactly as I'm doing. And as always, check the video description if you need to find the source code. Okay. So if you need to find the source code, it will be right under this lecture. So let's head over to the make file. We're going to make some changes there. And I just want you to comment out your files. Obviously, because we're making quite a significant change to the kernel, making it from 32 bit to 64 bit, that will be time consuming. So we're only going to change around one file at a time until we've made everything compatible. So start by saying files equals build kernel.ai. 